gratitude is the attitude gratitude is the mood this entire year we are grateful for the little things it's the little things in life that makes life worth living so if you've been following me for a while you notice that i sprinkle videos on mental health because i'm a mental health therapist I sprinkle videos on the mind-body connection because I've spent a decade studying the mind-body connection. And then I also sprinkle some spiritual things up in there. Why? Because I spent over a decade studying and practicing an array of uh, religious and spiritual things. So, and I tend to just sprinkle that information because it's hard to create for me. It's hard to create an impactful message and put it in such a short amount of time. It's like, okay, I can't do that. And I don't want to do that. So I typically deliver those messages in a one-on-one -on -one setting or in a group setting. Wow. But today I felt compelled to share some information with you. So I was kicking it with a friend and I was explaining to him that, you know, when I get anxious, I get gassy, right? That's just what it is. And pretty much we all do. When we have some type of perceived fear or anxiety, our gut begins to do something. Um, for me, it's gas. For other people, they have to poop. For other people, it's just a stomach ache. So it, it, it differs from person to person, but everyone feels something in the gut when a perceived fear is present. So... Why is that important? Well, it's important because in therapy, we have a term that we call running anxiety. That's where the subconscious, which is the hidden part of the mind, is constantly running a theme of fear, perceived fear, fear of the future, fear of the unknown, even fear that something in the past is gonna happen in the future. Whatever it is, it's a, it's a, it's a fear and it creates anxiety. Now, that perceived fear happens in the mind or in the emotion body before it ever hits the physical body. So by the time the physical body is already tense and it's um, beginning to release gas and things of that short sort, it's already been happening up in your mind. The body just received the signal. Why is this important? It's important because if we have a constant running theme of anxiety or fear or fight or flight in the back of our mind, our gut is in a constant state of stress. What happens when anything is in a constant state of stress? It begins to break down. What happens when the gut breaks down? We have immune deficiency, right? We have immune deficiency. We begin to um, have hair thinning, our nails break. We even have disorders like IBS, right? Diarrhea, constipation, because the gut is hypersensitive because again, it's a running theme of, oh shit, something bad is gonna happen, right? So in essence, if we spend more time in medi meditation, and if we dive into our subconscious mind and understand what's really happening in the darkness of our own subconscious, we can improve the gut of our health. Health, gut, health, what did I say? We can improve the health of our gut. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so why is that important? Well, it's important because we spend a lot of time talking about the food that we eat and how it impacts our body. But we don't spend enough time talking about mental health and how the mental health impacts the body and how it's a communication above and below. Right? Right. So that's it. Let's pay attention to, to the themes that are running in our subconscious. And we don't even have to go into meditation to do it. You can just listen to the symptoms of your body if you are a gassy person i'm pretty sure it's some it's some anxiety and fears up here that you're just not aware of right sit with yourself all right i hope y'all got something out of that i didn't stutter as much as i normally do happy friday i'm so grateful for y'all that's what i'm grateful for